Some verses taken from Psalm 116. I love the Lord for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. What shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will fulfil my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. I will sacrifice a thank offering to you and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfil my vows to the Lord. Well, good evening, folks. I trust that you are praying for us tonight as the leadership team meet probably at the time you're watching this video. So keep us in your prayers. We have much to discuss this evening. This evening, I want us to look at this psalm um, rather than New Testament reading. I think it's, it's helpful to us to consider it uh, this evening. It uh, talks about where the, the psalmist is writing after God has answered his prayer. He was in a desperate situation. He thought he was going to die. The Lord delivered him from that situation. And so he's praising God for answered prayer. And here's your first challenge tonight. What answered prayer do you want to thank God for? What answered prayer do you want to thank God for? And the psalmist was very careful. After God had answered his prayer, he made sure that he would um, give God the glory that he deserved. He was going to praise the Lord. He was going to thank him. He was going to make a thank offering. And he was going to keep the promises he made. Now, God doesn't really enter into bargains with us. He doesn't need to do deals with us. Lord, if you do this for me, then I'll do that for you. God doesn't need to enter into deals with us. But if we do make promises to God, Lord, if you help me in this situation, then I'll serve you all of my life. Then let's be like the psalmist and make sure that we keep those promises we make. Those promises we make to the Lord. Of course, we should serve him all of our life anyway, because he's given us all things in Christ. He saved us, he redeemed us, he brought us to himself. So actually, we should fulfill the vow that we made when we first became a Christian, and we owned him as Lord. Lord, I receive you as my Lord and my Saviour. He saved us, he gave his life for us, he saved our life, therefore our life belongs to him. He is our Lord. That is a natural uh, response and reaction of a Christian. Our vow to him when we first received him as Lord and Saviour and when we followed him through the waters of baptism is that we would follow him and serve him all the days of our life. Let's remind ourselves of that, that he answered our prayer to forgive our sin. He answered our prayer to save us from the coming judgment. He's answered our prayer to give us a life that is abundant and full. He's answered many other subsequent prayers since then. Therefore, let's fulfill our vow to him and serve him with our whole heart. Let's offer up the, the uh, sacrifice of praise which is the fruit of our lips. Let's worship him. Let's give him the honour and the glory that's due to his name. Let's be like the psalmist and acknowledge all the answered prayers that we have received. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for all the times that you have answered our prayer. How you answered our prayer to save us from our sin and to deliver us from judgment. We thank you that we have a hope of eternal life because, Lord, you answered our prayer and uh, you gave us your Holy Spirit as a witness and a testimony to the fact that you have saved us. We give you thanks. And in response, we first thank you for this answered prayer and all the times you have answered our prayers. And secondly, we say, we judge it this way, that if you saved our life, then our life belongs to you. If you gave us life, then our life belongs to you. So we pray, Lord, that we will be found faithful, serving you all the days of our life. Lord, we pray for the leadership team as they're meeting just now. Lord, we pray that you will uh, guide uh, the discussions, the complex issues that we are talking about tonight. You'll guide us in those discussions 
that Lord we can effectively serve you in this place amongst this community. In Jesus' name, amen.